All right, kiddos, we're going to do a quick review here before we start talking about some isotopes. So the past couple of days, we've been talking about atoms and the particles that make them up. If we're looking at our example from our bell work today, right here, this number, number 11, that is our atomic number. And that's going to tell us a few things. The number at the bottom, it's always a decimal. That'll be our focus today with isotopes. That is that number right there, 22.990. That is our atomic mass, and it's always a decimal because it's the average mass of all the atoms of sodium, which we'll focus on today. The mass number is a little bit different. The mass number is a whole number. To get the mass number, we add up our protons and our neutrons, our patties and our neldas. The easy way to get that from our atomic mass is just to round it to the nearest whole number. So our mass number is just 23. Now, from yesterday, we know the number of protons is the same as our atomic number. So protons will always be 11 for sodium. We also said that atoms are neutral. So if you have 11 protons, 11 positives, you'll also have 11 negative electrons. The last particle we need to find is neutrons. So if this number is our atomic mass, that's our patties plus our neldas, protons plus neutrons. We want to round that to the nearest whole number, which is 23. And we want to subtract our atomic number, our number of protons, and that is going to give us 12. So we have 12 neutrons in our atom of sodium. That's what we talked about the, yesterday, so should be reviewed for you. Today, if you have your notes in front of you, we're going to talk about two different things. We're going to focus on mass number versus atomic mass. <clears throat> so the mass number is you add up your protons and neutrons of an atom. Those are the only two particles that have mass. You add those up, that's the mass number of one atom, or that's the mass of one isotope, one atom of an element. If we go down here to atomic mass, that's a little bit different. The atomic mass is the average mass of all the atoms of an element, or it's the mass of all the isotopes of a certain element, and it's always a decimal. So if we look right here at titanium, titanium's atomic mass is 47.867. What does that mean? Well, that's the average mass of all the titanium atoms or isotopes. So some titanium isotopes maybe have a mass of 48, while others may have a mass of 47. But this number right here is an average of all the different titanium atoms. That's their average mass when calculated. So to know if you have an isotope, isotopes will always have their mass number following the name of the element. So like, well, I don't know what isotope is, Mr. Grimm. If you see ever see an element with a number after it, that's an isotope. Hydrogen 3, that's an isotope. Sulfur 34, that's an isotope. What's an isotope? That's just a specific atom of an element. So it's, it's like this. If you had two cats, and they're both cats, right? So let's say we have two different atoms of oxygen. They're both oxygen. Each atom of oxygen will always have eight protons. So if, imagine these cats are oxygen. They both have eight protons. That's what makes oxygen oxygen, right? They're both cats. They're both oxygen atoms. They both have eight protons. That's what makes them oxygen. But we see Captain Sprinkles down here is a little bit heavier, and that's okay. We're not going to judge Captain Sprinkles, but a little bit heavier. And so what makes atoms heavier? Well, in this case, Captain Fluffy only has eight neutrons, whereas Captain Sprinkle has 10 neutrons. So that makes Captain Sprinkles a little bit heavier because she has more neutrons than Fluffy. So if you add those up, Fluffy has a mass of 16, while Sprinkles has a mass of 18. So that's what an isotope is. It's an atom of the same element that has different numbers of neutrons. So for our definition, for isotopes, it's an atom of the same element, both atoms of oxygen, 
but they have different numbers of neutrons. Some are heavier, some are lighter. And because they have different numbers of neutrons, it gives them a different mass number. That's what an isotope is. Atom of the same element with different numbers of neutrons, which gives them a different mass number. So we could have oxygen 16, oxygen 17, oxygen 18. They're all oxygen. They all have eight protons. But what's different is they have different numbers of neutrons. That's what makes them different. So the question, do isotopes have the same number of protons? Yes, they do, because they're all the same element. And we know proton is what defines the element. So when you calculate an isotope, you want to figure out how many neutrons are in an isotope. Again, the number that follows the isotope, that is the mass number of that isotope. So oxygen 18, the mass of that isotope is 18. So if I want to know how many neutrons oxygen 18 has, well, we use that as our mass number, 18. We subtract the atomic number of oxygen, and that will tell us we have 10 neutrons in that isotope of oxygen. What about oxygen 17? Well, oxygen 17, the mass number is 17. That's our mass number. We subtract our atomic number, 17 minus 8, and that would give us 9 neutrons. So, kiddos, isotopes are atoms of the same element. They just have different numbers of neutrons. How do you know if you have an isotope? It will always be written with the name and the mass number of that isotope afterwards. So here's an example of two isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-14. That is the mass number of that isotope. That's the mass number of that isotope. Now, again, they're both carbon. They have the same number of protons. And we said yesterday, if you have six positives, you also have six negatives. So that's nothing changed. The only difference in isotopes is some are heavier and some are lighter. If I want to find my neutrons, I take my mass number, 12, subtract my atomic number of carbon, which is 6, and I get 6 neutrons. For carbon-14, my mass number is 14. I subtract my atomic number of 6. That gives me 8, 8 neutrons. The only difference between isotopes is atoms of the same element, different number of neutrons. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to figure out the following information for boron 9, boron 10, and boron 11, somewhere on your notes, somewhere on a piece of paper. Pause the video and then get your information done and then check the answers on the next slide. After you have unpaused the video, this is what you should have had for boron 9, boron 10, and boron 11. These are each isotopes of boron, and the number that follows boron is the mass number. So if you look at your answers, everything is the exact same except your number of neutrons and except the mass number. Everything else is the exact same, just like before when we did our problems. So what are isotopes, kiddos? Isotopes are atoms of the same element they just have different numbers of neutrons, which affects their mass number.